If you are still working or attending school from home due to the ongoing pandemic, you are probably pushing your home's Wi-Fi network to the maximum. And if you have set up your home office too far away from the router, you have likely learned the hard way that dead zones in particular can be a real pain. Luckily, a good Wi-Fi range extender can help. The best Wi-Fi range extenders give your network a boost by receiving the wireless signal from your router and re-amplifying it further out into your home. They are simple to operate. Just pick a good spot, plug it in and press the WPS button to sync it with your main router. In most cases, your wireless range extender doesn't have to be the same brand as your routers in order to work. There are plenty of options that are both solid and affordable. So hey guys, in this video, we are going to show you 5 best Wi-Fi extender you can buy right now. We made this list based on our personal opinion, research and the popularity of the product. If you are searching for budget best Wi-Fi extender, then we'll list the product for you. If you wanted to buy one of these products or wanted to check updated price of any products you can check the links in the description so let's get started the fifth product in our list is Nitager Wi-Fi range extender EX3700 it is a dated looking device and it was not a terribly strong performer in my test the 2.4 gigahertz band was able to sustain workable speed between 30 and 40 mbps throughout most of my home which was strong enough to stream video with minimal buffering or to hold a peak video call with a slight delay but the 5 gigahertz band was surprisingly weak Often when dropping into single digits with only a single wall separating my PC or connected device from the range extender. I was not a fan of the web interface either, it seemed more interested in getting me to register for the warranty and opt into marketing emails than in actually offering me any sort of control over the connection. There is an app you can use instead but it is only available on Android devices. WPS button based setup lets you skip all of that which is nice. The fourth product in our list is Linksys RE6. 350 Wi-Fi booster. By using this device, my speeds were consistent. By default, the device automatically steers you between the 2.4 and 5 GHz bands. But with download speeds ranging from 10 to 35 Mbps throughout all of my tests over multiple days, it might as well just default to the slower 2.4 GHz band. The device supports automatic firmware update, which is nice but you cannot use the Linksys Wi-Fi app to tweak settings. Instead, you will have to log in via the web portal. On top of all that, the RD6350 seemed to be the least stable of all the extenders I tested, with more than one dropped connection during my tests. The third product in our list is D-Link DAP 1650 Wi-Fi range extender. This was the only range extender that ever managed to hit triple digits during my tests, with an average speed of 104 Mbps in my bedroom during evening hours. Setup was just as simple as what I experienced with TP-Link 2. I was able to stream HD video, browse the web and make video calls on the extenders network without any issue. Network speeds were inconsistent though and much slower in daytime hours with a bigger drop off than I saw with TP-Link. The device also dropped my connection at one point during my speed tests. Software was aside, the hardware seems pretty good with this range extender and it has a dual external antenna setup. And since it is not quite the newest model from D-Link, there is a good chance you can find it on sale somewhere. The second product in our list is TP-Link RE650. If you're looking for an Elite extender that doesn't sacrifice your Wi-Fi quality, then this TP-Link model is an excellent choice for you. It comes with a high-speed mode that prioritizes a stable connection and an intelligent signal indicator that will help you to locate the right area for maximizing your Wi-Fi signal as much as possible, up to 14,000 square feet. It also supports the latest router technologies like MoMIMO so you don't lose those advantages when extending your network. Like modern routers, this extender also uses beamforming to help maintain connection with wireless devices even they are not MoMIMO compatible. The TP-Link RE650 is definitely the best extender we have found, but the price may be a little high for some buyers, especially those who don't need to cover such a large area or who don't need such a powerful signal. The number one product in our list is TP-Link RE2020 Wi-Fi extender. At $35, the TP-Link RE2020 was the least expensive range extender I tested, but that did not stop it from outperforming everything else I tested at every turn. It is fast, it is reliable, it works with just about every router out there and it is really easy to use. Plug it in and press the WPS button to pair it with your home network and it will begin broadcasting its own network on the 2.5 and 5 GHz bands. Both offered steady speed throughout my entire home, including every download speed on the 5 GHz band of at least 70 
25 megabits per second in every ROM I tested, along with strong upload speeds too. The RE2020 never once dropped my connection, and its speed were consistent across multiple days of test during both daytime and evening hours. Nothing else I tested was able to match that level of performance, which makes the RE2020 a steal at $28. All of that makes it a great choice for anyone looking to boost the signal to a backroom that sits a bit too far beyond the router's reach. Alright guys, this was our today's video. If you find this video helpful for you, then like the video and if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for our amazing upcoming videos. Be sure to check out the links in the description for the updated price of all products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.